If you're truly an unashamed Christian, I want you to use the sound, man. There's so many people in this life who ask me, why do you always ask people to use your sound? You're trying to use God for cloud, this, this, and that. And that's not the case. I'm not using God for anything. He's using me. He's using this platform so that I can promote Jesus Christ globally. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy for you to see this video and to send it to somebody and to use the mat, use the sound and, and, and people can hear it and hear the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is that Jesus Christ is the only way and that he died on the cross for your sins so that you could be free. Not so that you could be kept up in bondage, so that you could live this life the way it's supposed to be lived. And Jesus Christ did not do that for nothing. He did that so you could be free. So don't get kept up and locked up by doing the things of this world. Choose Jesus and understand that he is the only way. So with that being said, man, use this sound. Send it to somebody. Do what you can to help promote the message and be unashamed. Romans 116, man. You got to be unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'll see you all in heaven. When you die and come face to face with God, he'll ask you, why shall I allow you into my heavenly kingdom? You'll look at the whiteboard and say, God, <laughs> Look at all the wonderful deeds I did on earth. God will say, hmm, that's impressive, but that's not enough. He'll say, you never fully surrendered your life to me. You never repented of your sins. You never obeyed my commands. And not only that, you didn't minister the word of God to anyone. You didn't share the good news of the gospel, nor did you share your testimony. God will say, depart from me, for I never knew you. But if you're a true believer of the gospel of Jesus Christ, God will ask you the same question and smile. He'll say, my God. You are a child of God. You fully surrender your life to me until the end. You repented of your sins and they are forgiven. You obeyed my commands and not only that, you minister the word of God. You share your testimony and you share the good news of the gospel across the world and nation. If you're trying to preach God's word, this is the time right now for you to do so. We are beginning to see so many things unfold that God said was going to happen in the last days. It says in 2 Timothy 3 verses 5, they will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. It also says people will love pleasure rather than God. It says it in verse 4, just because someone says they go to church, just because someone says they tithe, that is not going to get you into heaven. It says in 2 Timothy 2 verse 19, but God's truth stands firm like a foundation stone with his inscriptions. The Lord knows those who are his and all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil. Y'all, God never said it was going to be easy to turn away from evil. But if you want to be called God's child, you got to turn away from evil. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. They don't go with each other. I know a lot of y'all out there are like, man, I thought being a Christian was just going to be super fun. It was just going to, everything was just going to work out like that. Yes, certain things can do that. But what you got to realize is that we were not put here on this earth to feel satisfaction and pleasure. That's for heaven. But while we're here, this is what Paul says to do. It says in 2 Timothy 3 verse 12, yes, and everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. He didn't say, oh, you may suffer, maybe. No, but if you're a real true Christian, you're going to suffer persecution from people who don't believe. Because you're so bold in your faith, you're going to make people angry and you're doing something good. Now, also, I want to clarify, God does say gently instruct those who oppose the truth. He said that in 2 Timothy 3 verse 25. So you don't have to yell at people to tell them to get right. But listen, you got to tell them. And then it says, God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth you can't change people's hearts i know you thought you could but you can't y'all we have to persevere during this time so all the evil that's in the world right now yes it may be tempting but god will never tempt us beyond what we can handle and if you need help, you can always call on God. I want you guys to chase after the truth that God says, not some watered down myth about what God has told us to do. So get ready. Be prepared to endure some pain, some persecution for Jesus. Remember, y'all, he did that for us. So the least we can do is do that for him. Now that I've got your attention, Strong School just give me one chance to talk to you about Jesus. Please, just give me one chance. Thank you, thank you so much. Jesus died for your sins. He died for you without thinking twice about it. He even gave you a choice to follow him or not. Please, make the choice and follow him. Spread the word of God. Spread the gospel. Do not say you will do it later because you never know when he's going to return. He can return right now. And what are you doing? Just going through TikTok? No. Just make a video or use this sound. Do something and spread the word of God. Many are headed to hell 
and Jesus is preparing to return even as you watch this video. Would you press the copy link button three times so somebody could get saved through seeing this? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's no way to the Father but through me, yet the world will tell you the opposite. They'll say, any way is the way. Buddha is the way. Whatever makes you happy is the way, yet all those roads but Jesus lead to death. Eternal death, in fact. Destruction, torment, and punishment. But Jesus offers mercy. If you call upon his name, he'll forgive you. He'll fill you with his spirit and set you free from the bondages, fears, and depressions that have held you in captive so long. He loves you. He really, really does. And I pray whatever you're going through, you'd feel his spirit right now and be set free from any physical pain, especially migraines. In the name of Jesus. Scroll if you hate God. Like, follow, and share if you love God. Wait, no, don't do that. Do you see what I just did there? I just used God for clout and fame. That's not okay. People still do this and they use their mothers, families, and whatever, people that they love, just for fame. But mostly what I see on my For You page is like, like and follow if you love God. Just get a free pass because that's just not okay. Whoa! Stop scrolling in the name of Jesus Christ because this is Bible verses that you want to hear. Psalms 23, share the word. Sharing the word is good. You don't have to, but it is good. This is going to help you, my friends. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valleys, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup, it overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hey you, oh, oh you wanna scroll? Oh, go, go ahead, go, go watch your other TikToks. No, I think God wants you to stay here. And also, if you're a true believer in Christ, like this video, Follow me, share a copy link, share it to your friends and all that stuff. And if you don't do that, you're not a true follower in Christ. You see what I just did there? I just used God's name for clout. I'm so tired of seeing that. Stop doing it. Stop doing that. If I see another video saying, oh, you want to scroll? Go, go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Stop. Stop. If you want to get the word of Jesus Christ out, say it correctly. Stop saying, if you scroll, you're going to hell. Stop doing that. You don't know how many videos I get like that on my on my for you page. It's getting annoying. I'm tired of seeing these pe these people. Oh, you want to scroll? 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 Oh, no, I think God wants you to say, shut up. If you're gonna spread the word of God, spread it right. Yeah. Get up, get up, and go spread the gospel right now. I have so many people who tell me I'm. So Scared. My friends are gonna laugh at me. I'm scared. I'm gonna get mocked. But Jesus was mocked. And you know when he was mocked, he still died on that cross for you. And he took that sacrifice up for you. So you shouldn't be ashamed to spread what Jesus Christ did for you. It doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter what your parents think. It doesn't matter what your friends think. It doesn't matter what the people at your job think. What matters is that you love God and you love his son. And what matters is that you're doing the work of God and you're spreading the message and you're trying to change as many lost souls as you can. God said 
The world will hate you, but it hated me first. So don't stop. Keep spreading the message. Keep going. Keep telling as many people as you can. And if people mock you, people persecute you just for what you believe in, ignore them and keep spreading the word of God. Keep praying over them and keep loving them. Show them the love that Jesus Christ showed you.